Alright, this is Tommy from Streetport Connection with the Raw spoilers and also the Impact spoilers along with Superstar spoilers for next week. There was a Raw spoiler for next, next week as uh, it starts off with, uh, let's see, well Superstars for next week, the, fir the first match is Evan Bourne uh, beating Jack, uh, Zach, Swack, uh, Zach Ryder. Okay, and then we have Raw opening up with Edge doing a promo. He wanted a shot at Wade Barrett. Our truth came out and told Edge that after last week, we we all have to have to stick together. They argued. General Manager announced Edge versus Wade Barrett, and and Truth told Edge that he's on his own. So you have Edge versus Barrett. Saw Nexus come out to attack. But Edge escaped unharmed. Good match while while it lasted, so, it, so the report says. Alicia Fox and Jillian Hall and Tamina defeating Eve Torres and Gail Kim and Natalia when Fox pinned Natalia. Fox did a promo after the match and was attacked and laid out by the returning Melina. Edge and Cena got into an argument. <coughs> Edge quit, quits the team. J Jericho told Cena that he should quit quit as well. Jericho challenged Cena to a match. Uh, next up was uh, Kali and Morrison were doing a promo. Michael Tarver tells Kali he should join Nexus. Kali thinks about it. And uh, Sheamus defeating Goldust in a quick match. Sheamus did a promo saying that, that he finished Triple H's career. Something Randy Orton could never do. John Cena defeated Chris Jericho in a long match with the STF. Cena then attacked Jericho to stay on the team. Uh, so, uh, uh, Cena then asked Jericho to stay on the team. Jericho tossed a uh, tease thinking about it and then walked off. Then they showed a uh, promo with Albert Del Rio video. Edge and Jericho had a backstage vignette. Where they hugged and made up. I guess no loser leaves town match here. They announced Edge, for, uh, Edge and Jericho versus Bret Hart and Cena with Nexus <coughs> as lumberjacks. I guess that's that's for your the uh, eight uh, August the ninth TV show. Okay, uh, Great Khali defeating Ted DiBiase with a head squeeze. DiBiase was left uh, was left out cold. Nexus came out and gave Maurice Ted DiBiase Jr.'s million dollar belt. Randy Orton versus Miz was a long match. Orton hits the RKO. Orton and Sheamus did a uh, stare down. Nexus came out and told Sheamus to, to leave and he did. Mark Henry's team came out and laid out Nexus. And he was born using the shooting star press on Gabriel. That may... That may be TV. That may, may be where they cut it off. Okay, on with the impact for this week. Okay. Uh, impact. Uh, this per the person who made the report got to the impact zone kind of late. As they walked in, there was an in ring segment with the hardcore originals, including Team 3D, Hulk Hogan, and Abyss. Uh, which sets up Dreamer versus Miss for the main event. Hogan noted Tommy Dreamer was there as a guest of TNA. First match saw Sarita versus Angelina Love. Love defeated Sarita. Sarita. We are shown a video clip with Orlando Jordan and Eric Young setting up a tag match tonight. Yes, Eric Young may be turning gay character. Young seems to be doing a deal where he's actually acting goofy because he, he was kicked in the head. Inc. Inc. defeated Orlando Jordan and Eric Young. Jo Jordan kissed SoCal Val while, while making his way up to the ring. Young brought a male fake model in pink feathers down to the ring with him and put it in their corner. So I guess it was a mannequin uh, from what the report says. Okay, a Universal employee Warned everyone not to hop the rail, as a as a kid did last last week. 
T uh, Dixie Carter and Hermie Sadler are in the house. Uh, Tommy Dreamer cut a, cut a promo backstage saying that he might not have a TNA contract, but tonight he's, he's going to show Abyss what extreme is. Uh, Abyss versus Dreamer bout is a hardcore match. <coughs> Ric Flair comes out and announced Beer Money were the final two members of the fortune. So it's Beer Money, AJ Styles and Kazarian in a group. Flair announces he will return to the ring against Jay, Le Jay Lethal next week. Robert Roode says that when they defeat Motor, Motor City Machine Guns in a steel cage tonight, they will be the new tag team champions. Kazarian cut a promo about being a fortune. Styles cut a promo about being the global champion. Kurt Angle comes out and told Styles he was next on Angle's list. As they set up the steel cage, Jeremy Borash pushed the fans to order the VIP packages for TNA Hardcore Justice as they, cl uh, they are close to selling out. It, and that is at ChopTNA.com. Beer Money versus, uh, versus uh, Motor City Machine Guns, Steel Cage, match. Three out of, uh, out of five match series for the titles. They are doing traditional tag rules inside the, inside the cage. Root is busted open. The crowd is, in, into, uh, is into this match big time. Roof came off the impact zone as Alex Shelley flew from the top of the cage to land on Beer Money. James Storm nailed Rude. <coughs> James Storm nailed Rude with, with the beer bottle accidentally, and both members of be, uh, Beer Money were pinned. Two to one now, as and the guns are still alive. Awesome match. Matt Morgan comes to the ring, Mr. Ander to Mr. Anderson music. He mocks calling for the mic and do doesn't get it un until his third try. Morgan mocks Anderson introducing himself and makes up. A bunch of fake crap about himself calling himself eight foot tall and four weighing in at 484 pounds. Mr. Anderson comes out on the ramp, has a mic, has has his traditional mic lower to him. Anderson comes down to the ring. Morgan makes fun of it, funny of the attack on on him last week. Morgan dares Ken to hit him, hit him this time, which. Uh, which Anderson eventually does. Morgan hits up, gets the upper hand again and cho chokes Anderson with the mic cord. Jeff Hardy comes in and comes down to make the save and unloads. Security comes in to break them up. Morgan gets a couple of cheap shots in until D'Lo Brown, Simon Diamond, and Al Snow come in and yell at security to end the segment. <coughs> hey, Eric Graphic uh, listening uh, and Eric Bischoff announcement as well. As Jeff Hardy and Ken Anderson versus Matt Morgan and a uh, mystery partner of being TNA security guard. Next match uh, lasts about 30 seconds. Rob, Perry, Rob Terry pinning Kazarian. Mr. Anderson and Hardy versus Morgan and, and a security guard. Morgan walks off and leaves the, the guards to fend them. Yes, it says guard, so there must be multiple to fend for themselves. Hardy pins one with a twist of fate. Bischoff came out and announced that the 812 Impact will feature former ECW stars in action and that RVD will take on Abyss in a ladder match with Janet above the ring. That's Abyss's nails nails in the uh, board. Okay, Dreamer versus Abyss was your main event. Dreamer is in control early, and they, but they go to, go to ringside. Dreamer uses a beer can on Abyss. Then throws a trash can full, full of weapons in, in the ring. Crowd is totally behind Dreamer. Dreamer does a whole ECW ba baseball slide into Abyss. And with the tra uh, ab into Abyss with the trash can in front of Abyss's face. Dreamer br brings out a barbed wire board. Dreamer picks up the trash can, but Abyss punches it in the face. Then choke slams Dreamer to get the pinfall victory. And that ends your uh, TNA spoilers for this week.